overall energy we have the four of pentacles in reverse you are releasing something whatever you're releasing you could have once held on to extremely tight okay either someone's releasing you from a relationship or you're releasing someone from a relationship i feel there is something that you're letting go okay you're letting go something that you once held very very close to your chest something that you thought once had a lot of value and potential a lot of security you're letting go of some security that you had all right in the past, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, I feel there was someone, if there was someone who was trying to avoid and ignore a situation, they're come, they came back in the past. Or this could have been someone who was deceptive, who was sneaky, who was a cheater, and they were guilty or they were caught and they returned back, okay? Someone was guilty and came back or someone was uh, trying to avoid or ignore something and they couldn't do it anymore and they're coming back. They came back in the past. We will clarify Coming into the current situation, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Uh, there is a situation that you're laying off, okay? There is a burdensome situation. I feel you were carrying the burden of not only yours, but probably the entire burden of the relationship was on your shoulders. Or something could have stressed you out a lot, okay? This is a lot of exhaustion and you're letting it go. You're like, you know what? I cannot do this anymore. You're, you're, you're laying down the burdens. And the challenge is the world, okay? So probably you're ending a cycle. You're closing a chapter with someone and you could be living at a distance from this person and uh, this could be a long distance relationship, but you're closing a chapter, all right? You've uh, successfully completed a cycle, a chapter, and now you you could have reached a milestone with this person or a relationship and you're closing a chapter, okay? You're wanting to begin a fresh new start with this person or without this person, we'll see. On your mind is the three of swords that's um, heavy emotional drama okay you're going through something cut deep all right something cut you deep this is emotional trauma this is a lot of heartbreak a lot of heart pain separation divorce stress but this is just something this is more like emotional trauma to me okay with the three swords here i feel this could be a third party situation doesn't have to be take how it resonates but andres you're 100 percent sure I'm 100% sure I'm not going to be able to say it, but this could be a third party, all right? Third party does not always have to be a person. It can also be a third element that is coming between you and the other person, all right? But there's heartbreak on your mind. If not your mind, then this is the person who you're dealing with. It's on their mind. The root of the issue or the reason for the reading is the nine of swords in reverse. Someone has acceptance over a situation, all right? There could have been a situation which you could have, which could have been driving you crazy, ha giving you sleepless nights. You could have been stressing about it a lot. But now you're accepting the situation. Like more like, you know what? All right, you know what? It is what it is. And you're not stressing so much about a situation as you were before, okay? Sleeping better. Uh, what you will be experiencing coming into the near future is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Either you're too focused on yourself, this is someone who's very, very selfish, somewhat self-focused, okay? This is not someone, if you're looking for a commitment with this person, then this person is non-committal. They're not, they don't play the long game, all right? And this is someone who's very, they want, they want the fastest, they want the best, and uh, they keep switching on to whatever is best, all right? This is not someone who stays, all right? highly non-committal and very very self-focused okay they want what i want they do what they want they don't like to stay in, in anything for a very long time and uh this is someone very focused on their money their career okay they don't really give a shit about relationships however we'll see if this is you or if this is the energy that the person is bringing in all right all right Clap for the four of pentacles in reverse what is the four of pentacles in reverse as the overall energy for leo This hasn't happened in any of the readings, but Leo, look how the sun is shining on the cards. I love it. All right. We have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. All right. There has been a struggle or a stall in a new beginning, okay? There's, there is there is a delay in a practical new beginning that you would want to have. Why? Because someone is stuck in their head with the Eight of Swords, all right? With eight of swords, you're, you're held, you're held back and you're in your own way. I feel someone's getting into their own way, okay? Someone's really stuck 
and this is being paralyzed because of fear this is self limiting beliefs and this is self inflicted prison okay you're doing this to yourself no one's doing it to you and with the seven of wands here i feel you extremely guarded because you're in this energy okay you're too defensive right now and because of that probably there is a lack of new beginning because you're you're doubting this connection you're doubting the potential and probably with this four of pentacles in reverse you're leaving it you're letting it go you could have tried very hard to make this work out but because of your self limiting beliefs uh, you were extremely defensive and that's why there was a lack of practical there, there was a lack of new beginning here why is your practical new beginning is because pentacles have all to do with uh, something tangible all right it's not emotions it's not passion it's something practical it's committed it's solid it's stable all right it's there to stay it'll give you a lot of stability but there is just a delay in it because of your own you're getting in your own way leo if this is you then you are getting in your own way Clear for the seven of swords in reverse. Clear for the seven of swords in reverse. What is the seven of swords in reverse? Clear for the seven of swords in reverse. The six of wands in reverse. The king of swords in reverse, and the eight of wands in reverse. What the fuck? What's going on? So, who will return back to you? definitely uh whoever it on back to you right i definitely think this was someone who was cheating could be cheating or could be deceptive okay i do feel someone who was sneaky this is someone with the king of swords in reverse so this is someone who is very cold i see detached okay this is someone who just could be very very manipulative and could be a liar or a cheater all right they could manipulate the situation which could be whatever happens in their favor all right that's that's how that's the energy with the six of wands in reverse here someone's coming back to get the attention that they didn't get all right and with the eight of wands in reverse here i feel there was a lack of progress there was a lack either there was a lack of communication or there was a lack of forward movement with this person we have two cards of no success all right eight of wands in reverse six of wands in reverse lack of forward movement lack of victory all right but i feel this person came back to your life in the past because they were lacking the attention all right they were very egoistic and they didn't get the attention that they wanted for you so they came back for that however with the king of swords in reverse i feel this person is very very cold detached all right someone who is uh, could be very indecisive but at the same time this person usually you know the, the king of swords upright is the person who thinks very logically okay he's a very rational guy he thinks from his head he doesn't use his heart but when he's in the in the reverse he's got an extremely bad attitude all right this is someone who's very very mean and like a complete like asshole all right yeah he is very attention seeking very egoistic he or she and there was a lack of forward moment with this person okay things could have completely communication could have completely come to a complete stop with this person or there was just a lack of forward moment and no progress with this person okay. i think this person felt guilty and they came back because they didn't give you the attention that you needed or that you deserved clap for the 10 of wands in reverse what is this 10 of wands in reverse what is the 10 of wands in reverse here Look how many times the ace of pentacles in reverse is coming up again doubting the potential doubting yourself doubting you can make it happen ace of pentacles in reverse page of swords in reverse and the justice in reverse definitely cheating now i feel there was someone who cheated the justice in reverse is definitely someone cheated someone felt that something was not fair with the page of swords in reverse that is why there's probably a lack of delay because you don't have faith in this connection and with the page of swords in reverse you could be watching this person from a distance but you're not talking the page of swords in reverse is also someone immature in communication someone just very stupid someone who's very impulsive but someone you know what who's holding back a lot of information all right this is someone who could be holding back a lot of information and that's why probably there is a lack of a new beginning here okay there is a big delay here there is a potential of commitment here but there's just delays okay because there's someone who's holding back so much information i think this is someone who's just not ready to talk either you or either them okay because probably they thought in the past there was something that was not fair someone could have cheated or someone could have lied or things were just not fair okay and now with the end of wands in reverse here someone is just letting go of the situation they think the situation is burdening them too much so they're letting it go over the world here they're ending a cycle they're closing a chapter here clap for the world why is the world here as the challenge why is the world influencing the current situation clap for the world too many 
cards clash of the world i wanted to keep music on but i'm getting a lot of feedback that the music was too loud so i am going to just keep it like this or i'll just figure out some relaxing music as i have feedback from one of the subscribers thank you guys for the feedback i love the feedback coming in helps me so much okay clear for the world clear for the world all right we have the world clarified by the lovers the the wheel of fortune in reverse and the magician in reverse Yes, this is a soulmate connection. To put it out there, there could have been a, someone who had to make a very difficult choice. Okay, the lovers is making difficult choices. Okay, you could be having to choose between two soulmates, all right, or between just two people. Okay, it's making a very very difficult choice. And with the wheel of fortune in reverse here, I feel that things were just not uh, wheel of fortune in upright. I'm sorry. And with the magician in reverse here, again, I feel that someone was again very very manipulative, highly manipulative. You could have also thought that yes, you understand that you have this strong soulmate connection. You have this strong soulmate pull with this person, but with the magician in reverse here, either you feel very, very powerless about the situation, or you're just not being able to manifest the situation. All right, this could be someone who's very, very manipulative around you, someone who doesn't have the best of intentions. And with the wheel of fortune in reverse here, I think you you were planning to move forward. That's why you closed the chapter because you felt with the magician in reverse, you you the, you just have no power over the situation. You're feeling powerless. All right. or maybe you just stop manifesting this person you had a realization or you could have wanting to either okay so either i'm getting two stories here yeah. either you realize this is your soulmate but you feel this person is too manipulative and too sneaky and their intentions are not the best with you and with the wheel of fortune in reverse you're you're wanting to move forward okay you because you're closing the chapter with the world or you feel you're not being able to manifest the things okay with the magician in reverse there could be someone who's just not being able to manifest a connection all right you agree this is your soulmate connection but you still want to move forward okay so take how it resonates i think it's a realization that yes you love them they love you this is a soulmate connection there's a strong attraction but it's just not happening okay because they're just too sneaky too manipulative seven of swords in reverse here and uh the magician in reverse here nah I don't know. I don't. I don't get the best of vibes here. All right. Ten of cups in reverse here. Someone. There's a family situation that's draining you out completely, or you're wanting to leave a long-term commitment, or wanting to leave a family situation. All right. What is this three? Have patience. Can I fight the three of swords? What is this three of swords here on Leo's mind, or the person they are dealing with? Can I fight the three of swords? Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Four of Cups in Reverse. Yes, there is heartbreak on your mind, or the person you're dealing with. But I feel someone's wanting to fight for this connection. With the Seven of Wands, I feel someone's very, very hell bent on having this new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups here. And with the Four of Cups in Reverse, here I feel they feel it's a missed opportunity. I feel you're the one who got away, okay? And they're losing their heart over this. Something's giving them a lot of pain. Okay, they're in immense pain and trauma, but they're gonna fight for this connection. Someone's fighting for this new beginning in love, but however, they feel this was a missed opportunity. Okay, they feel you're the one who got away. They feel they missed an opportunity with you, but I don't think they're giving up. They're still going to fight for this connection. They have a lot of love for you with the Ace of Cups. They want a reconciliation. If not a reconciliation, they want a renewal in love. Okay. I don't see I don't see this as new love. There's a renewal in love. Renewal in love. I don't know what the hell happened in my words today. All right, clarify the nine of swords in reverse. Why is the nine of swords in reverse as the root of the issue? Why is the nine of swords in reverse as the reason for the reading? Hmm. the queen of pentacles the six of pentacles in reverse and the two of swords i feel with the nine of swords in reverse here 
you probably have an acceptance of a situation uh you're very much in your head okay you knew that with the six of pentacles in reverse something was one sided something was lacking balance there was a situation where there was no equal give and take only one person was doing all the work and they didn't even get the appreciation uh, um etc okay with the queen of pentacles here this is you who's probably invested a lot you were probably looking for something stable solid committed with the queen of pentacles here uh but with the two of swords here i think there was someone here who was very indecisive okay with the two of swords here they were not sure if they want to give in or not i think the indecisiveness is what screwed things up all right with the two of swords here this could also be a decision that you have it, it's been um it's been long coming okay you you did you had to make this decision long time ago but you dragged this decision for a long time back for for a very long time with the two of swords you you took a very long time this is stagnant okay stalemate energy okay you could have uh, been in this energy for a very long time you knew this was one sided you knew that this is um, what you wanted right but i think with the queen of pentacles you finally you realize your value you knew it was a one sided situation and now you have have acceptance of a situation you know and you're just not stressing about it anymore it's more like you realize your your worth you realize your self value you value yourself you're taking care of yourself the queen of pentacles is someone who's very stable secure in every aspect of her life all right so this is a lot of self worth you realize your value okay you realize you don't deserve this you deserve better it was a one sided situation and you could have probably dwelled on this decision for a very long time you know like what do i do do i still give this person a chance do i not do i still put in my emotions do i still invest in this connection or not okay but i think you're realizing your value and that's when you stop stressing about this with the nine of swords in reverse here we have the queen of pentacles and now we have the king of pentacles in reverse in the future what is the king of pentacles in reverse here okay Yeah. Why is the king of pentacles in reverse here? Clap for the king of pentacles in reverse. Oh my God! Ace of pentacles in reverse thrice, thrice, guys. Before I continue, I must tell you that there is a very strong potential. Okay, there is a very strong potential here, but it's just getting delayed because of. I think there's someone here with the four of cups here, right? I see. See again. Earlier we had the page of swords in reverse. Now we have the knight of swords in reverse. There is so much of holding back, guys. I think this is a lack of communication. There is not enough communication between you guys. Okay, there is. either both of you know what's happening but you don't want to talk about it because you're like you know what you're done this is done and dusted i have acceptance of a situation and i don't want to talk about it anymore or this is just you you're you guys are missing opportunities and opportunities where you have the potential but you're just not giving it a go again doubting if this but doubting if this relationship has enough potential as it had once all right there is a delay again and with the knight of swords in reverse here i feel there's someone who has so much to say but they're holding back okay this is someone who's just not seizing the opportunity to talk and with the four of cups here again holding back being very aloof stagnation discontent dissatisfaction i feel this is someone who feels very very rejected or could feel or, or could or, or could there could be a fear of rejection from this person all right and with the king of pentacles in reverse here probably you're going to be like meh okay that was a missed opportunity i'm just not going to say anything and i'm just going to focus on myself with the king of pentacles in reverse someone's just focusing on their work and they're not investing into this relationship any more i think i'd like to tag this reading as a missed opportunity that's all i can say missed opportunity lack of communication all the cards are just not on the table everyone's holding back you and the other person so there's just no forward movement All right, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this resonates with you. Leave your comments below and like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.